Hey, y'all ain't know. Hey. What it do, man? What it do? What it do? Welcome. Good, man. man. I appreciate you coming on the show, man. You feel me? You already know we've been talking about it. Ben's going to show love. Yes, sir. I see you working, too. I see you working, grinding. Damn, I need some more of my fans to hop in this motherfucking live. Man, same here. We gonna, it's going to go up. It's going to go up a little bit. You feel me? Probably some time. Give it some time. For sure. Man, I saw you at the amateur stage. You feel me? Um, Being, like, number one in the amateur stage. And then now you're doing your professional debut, and you already starting off undefeated, knocking niggas out. Tell me about that, the grind, the, the work to get to where you are now. Yeah, you know, just a lot of hard work, dedication, day in and out, Monday through Saturday for years. You know, no off season. You know, all that, all the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears just playing off. What does a um, daily workout routine look like for you when you in the gym and everything? A daily workout routine? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I always go to the gym in the morning. You know, I don't know what I'm expecting when I'm in the gym. So I just expected some hard shit, you know, you know, something to push me. Uh, and I go back to the gym in the evening around 6 o'clock. So I like to get two workouts in the day for sure. Yeah, because I know, like, one of the, like, boxing is, like, one of the hardest, most endurance sports out there, you know? And, most like, definitely. yeah, and, like, seeing you really grind, I know, like, you got to really be in shape for that. For Facts. You can play basketball. You can play football, you can play tennis, you can play soccer, you can't play boxing. Right, right. And it's a lot of technique with that, too. Yeah. And, and skill, like, um, you know, in the gym, sparring, and then when you actually do your fights as well, what's, like, one of the, like, combo moves that you, like, that you, that's a go-to or, like, you really perfected? Because uh, I see you, be, I like, decent people. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff in my arsenal, man. I got a great jab, mm -hmm. probably one of the best jabs in the boxing game, you know. And I, uh, my favorite punch to hit motherfuckers with is an uppercut. I like the uppercut niggas, like that Devontae Davis uppercut. Yeah, he sir. Take I... motherfucking head <laughs> and take their head off their motherfucking shoulders. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Like, I see you come. You usually like do like a come with the right jab, right, and then you come with that strong uppercut, coming with a lot of torque power, and then really knocking niggas out. Yeah. And then pun the Punisher, where'd you get that name, that label? How'd that come about? Because, man, that's what I do when I get in the ring, man. I like to punish and I get punishment now. Also, used to be my little favorite movie when I was a kid growing up and shit. So, yeah, the Punisher. So, I'm, that's what I'm rocking with. You know, I'm just living up to that name. And it's going to blow up real soon. I, I got to get some merch, though. Yeah, yeah, the merch dropping soon. Merch dropping next week, man. That shit gonna sell out quick, so man, everybody come get with me as soon as it drops, then I'll be taking pre-orders for the next batch. And I knew Team Punisher get like that. It's real drippy, real drippy. Mm -hmm. I, sure. saw, I saw on your um on your shorts when you um going into fights, you have Bug, Long Live Bug, and um Rest in peace, Bug, Rest in Peace, Big Son, my guys. Who who was Bug? Who like who who was that? It was a good neighborhood hero. My big brother I always look up to him. Rest in peace to him, you know. Mm -hmm. Always motivational. You know what I'm saying? He did. He was doing this thing, but they uh, got in a car accident. And they uh, got, died on uh, 95. So rest in peace to them. Mm -hmm. To book, to book. Long live book. And then I know I've seen you, Um, your coach has been uh working on trains also with Javante Davis. You've been doing a lot of training with Javante Davis. How'd that come? Because, you know, that's a big. That's a, that's a big person. Oh, yeah. Boxing ring. Yeah, for sure. I, I always knew them since I was a kid growing up, but uh, I just felt like I need to make a change in coaches. So I, I talked to Coach Calvin and, you know, Durante Davis, Davis team, and they accepted me in. So mm -hmm. it was love. And it's been like a year strong now. So it's going up. A lot of exposure. And, you know, that's where I, where I belong. And how has he helped you on your – process on, on your way to success because you coming off heavy starting off one and oh and there was a knockout as well and i know you got some other debuts coming up as well uh i got some more fights coming off i don't really say that uh tank's helping me at all uh, I, I i do everything on my own you feel me 
He's right. really, he bring a lot of uh, exposure and eyes to it, but all the hard work I put on is on my own, for sure. Right. So, any other debuts come, fight dates coming up as well? Yeah, I'm fighting February 20th back in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I be have, I got tickets on sale right now. Hit me up, man. Y'all get y'all VIP table for 200, man. Six, four people. And, yeah, I'm going to have that joint packed out for sure. You know, it was just my birthday, so I ain't been promoting that much, much. But this week right here, I'll be promoting dropping flyers. You know, I've been doing a lot of promo videos, spawn videos, giving the people a glimpse of what they're going to see in February 20th. Mm -hmm. Happy belated birthday, too, bro. Oh, I already. Yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I mentioned you there, but I got to say it again because, you know, it just passed. How was that? Yeah, man, that was lit, man. I was turned it up, bro, in my city yesterday for sure. Oh, I saw yeah. you. You you was in the in, in the little you had the little promo bus man you had yeah, the you had a little pump, a party bus whatever little strippers man threw that shit on the ass. Yeah. Speaking, um, uh, city, where are you from? I know, I know. Well, I know where you from, but for your fans and everything, well, my fans, you? man, they already know, man. P, I'm a law baby, law Maryland, born and raised, man. I love my city. They've been showing love, so yeah. And I know your ethnicity is also Sierra Leonean, correct? Yeah, yeah, I'm Sierra Leone. My, my dad from Sierra Leone. So do you, from uh, Guinea, Guinea Conakry, so. So do you represent them as well? Yeah, of course. I got a big African community I'm representing, for sure. I'm representing. That's why you see in my debut, my outfit colors, I had the uh, Sierra Leone flag colors on, which was green, white, and blue. Right, so, right. Yeah, I'm representing big time. And I know you've been out there before. How how is it like out there versus out in America? Oh, it was real different. Very great experience to go out there and see my roots where I'm from. Uh, less opportunity out there, so it just motivated me to do harder and you know eventually be able to go back and help out. That's good. That's good. And I know you're a card good eye drip guy as well. Can we see some? Can we see you on latest drip? What's the latest <laughs> drip you've been rocking? I know you got a uh, the new car, the the Hellcat and everything. But you had it out. Well, they had, I, I got you, SRT, man. You know me. I always, since a kid, I've been flashy, man. That's just me, man. I, oh, shit, man. I like a little trippy. Right now, I'm rocking a little Gucci one. You feel me? Yeah. Little custom Gucci joints. Man. And whatever I like, I buy it, man. You know, little Kenzo. I fuck with Kenzo, man. Cool. Shout out to them. Mm -hmm. but, you know, shit, man. I stay trippy, man. You know, shit ain't about nothing. And. What made actually what I have to ask you is what made you get into boxing? I know you've been boxing for a while. Uh, my really father, my father, he had me in it since I was a little kid, man, and I just fell in love with the sport and you know, I ran with it. And that was just my dream since a kid, become a world champion. You know, just be the biggest, one of the biggest boxers out there. Yeah, and I know your hands are something serious. I saw um you posted you had the um your little workout routine on you posted it on Twitter and it got some buzz when you had the Shabazz and a the Shabazz in the background, um, the Shabazz, uh, Shabazz, Shabazz brothers. Yeah, shout out to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, so music. What do you like? What's what's a daily like? What's some music do you listen to when you're working out? Um, working out, man. I'm listening right now. I'm listening a lot of Lil Dirk. Turn me up, a lot of Lil Baby. I could put a whole Lil Baby playlist on. That'll turn me up big time. Uh, man, shout out Lil Dirk, Lil Baby, Young Boy, all the mix, man. I even I throw anything in there, man. Some Bob Marley, anything. DMV rappers, man, beautiful, all them little dudes, all that, yeah. What separates you from the rest of the pack? Like, what, what, like, what are you coming with that's that's different from the rest of the crowd, the other uh, professional boxers out here that's coming up as well? Oh man, I'm flashy, entertaining. I'm just a full package all around, man. I know how to talk. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know how to show off. And I, I, I let my hands do the talking at the end of the day. I'm a, just a humble beast. So I'm going to gain fans every time I perform, for sure. Any sponsorships that you've been working with that's been pushing you on behind? Nah. Independent as of right now, but it'll become. I've definitely got some eyes looking at me. I don't want to say too much names, you know, but this year is definitely my year. So y'all will definitely be seeing me going up, for sure. Can we see? Can we see? All right, can you, can you drop, can you maybe leak this? Can we see you on Showtime eventually? Oh, yeah, definitely. You're going to see me on Showtime. Yeah. This year, if not late, later this year, the first of the year. They're bringing, you know, COVID's going on, but they're bringing Showtime, the next generation, 
bag, and I will be flying on TV soon. Yes, sir. Big moves. I like to hear it. I like to hear it. Can I get front row seats? Man, you already know you did, man. Gang, man, for sure. Gang, of course, man. Um, other than boxing, what can see people see you do? Like, what do you like to do on your downtime when you're not in the gym working out and everything? When I'm not in the gym time, I just like spending time with my loved ones, man, giving back, you know, mm -hmm. motivational to the kids. I'll go to the gym in the evening, you know, just give the kids motivations to, you know, do something better with their lives. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Speaking of loved ones, I know you, uh, you give your mom a lot of love. You, uh, and she's been, um, and I know that's a big, uh, part of your life. Talk to me yeah. about your mom and how she helped you. And um, yeah, I'm, her, I'm my mom's only child, man. So she showed me big love, man. So I, I always got to keep her proud and happy. You know, that's, so that's my that's my whole heart right there. I want to give her the world. And I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna shout out with this boxing shit. Damn thing out there, man. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these niggas be disrespecting their mothers and treating their mothers right. So how you putting their ass in check? You know? That's good. good. Shout out to all the moms doing the damn thing. Um, yes, and you mom. Helping the youth as well. Can we see maybe you opening a gym later on in the future? Or definitely, definitely want to open up my own gym in the future. You mm -hmm. know, for the youth and uh, just for kids to stay off the streets and you know do something good with themselves. So, That's know, just show them that it's possible if you really put your mind, hard work, and dedication and your mind to it. Anything is possible. That's good. That's good. And um, going like I know. You said that you're putting the kids, you know, trying to get them mindsets. Growing up as a kid, how how was that like for you? So yeah, I said growing up as a kid, how was that like for you? Uh, growing up for me, it was good. Yeah. I mean, I, I always hanged out with an older crowd, you know, but I always knew what I wanted. So every time, I, whatever time the gym came, I'll drop what I'm doing and I'll be going to the gym. That's just what made me different because I'll stay in the gym, you know, and the gym could keep you out of a lot of trouble, you know. Of they could course. be a shooting. I'll be at. I could be at the gym or something bad could happen. You know, I was at the gym, so it just keeps you out the way. You know, your mind on the swivel. Of course. So do you feel like that's like maybe like a sign of God saying, "Stay in the gym, get right, and keep yeah, going." Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I lost my two of my good brothers on the uh, on the road. You know, they got in an uh, accident. And mm -hmm. That was a big wake up call for me. So I could have been in that car easily. Right. Away. So, you know, that was just a big wake up call. You know what I'm saying? So So not only you're doing uh you doing this for yourself, but you got a lot of people that you, you know, Yeah, I got a lot there. of people I'm doing this for. I'm trying to make the whole city look good, that's for sure. That's a, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So, um other than merch, other than boxing, what else I mean, other than, you know, staying in the gym, what else do you like doing or like maybe that you like what other lanes do you want to tap in in the future because you know as uh, soon i like to become my own promoter and you know mm -hmm. promote other fighters once i i get on that level mm -hmm. businesses and reinvest you know i just want to be a great businessman all around the board that's for sure mm -hmm. i'll be i'll be down for anything acting something that you want to invest in if oh real estate i definitely want to have my own properties of course across the you know, United States and the world, Africa. I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of real estate. That's what I think I would invest in. It would be real estate, that's for sure. If you had to pick one, mansion, penthouse, what would it be? You mean a mansion? Over yeah. the penthouse? I'm going to get both of them. How about that? Yeah, 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 definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The, your family, the mansion, though. They coming in. What to do, everybody? Say what's up to the live. You what's know, up, like, man. What's up, Roster? What's up, man, Sonny? What's up, man? This is an exclusive. This is an exclusive interview with my man's Mons little boxer. You feel me? He's coming heavy out here. You feel me? In, in, in the DMV scene, taking a big rise out in boxing. Yeah, you know, man. We just start. We just getting started. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. We just getting started. So I know with boxing though, like um, you have to go through certain things, like with like maybe hands being registered and everything with that. Like, do, are your hands registered, and why do you guys have to uh, go through that as a process? Well, that's the myth of the hands being registered. It mm -hmm. really just means that you can't. You feel me? Your hands is a deadly weapon. Like mm -hmm. you shouldn't be. Any boxer should not be fighting on the streets. <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna. You feel me? They're gonna charge you with a assault and battery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facts. 
especially on you know, if you're on like Floyd, Adrian Broner's level, you can't be punching nobody because they're going to sue the fuck out you. So yeah. you feel me? I, I keep all the fighting in the streets, man. They shooting, in, they shooting in the streets right now. So I, I keep the fighting in the ring. I don't do too much fighting. I'm a cool, chill, laid back guy. You know what I mean? So I don't need to do and do all that. So, so how do you react to like when like I got some street, some street person come up to you and want to fight you? you I fight. try to resolve it in the best way I can, you know, and really, really tell you that this is not what you want to do. Like, yeah, especially if you don't know that I'm not a boxer. I'm just gonna try to resolve it, laugh it off. But I mean, once you put your hands on me, I just have to do self defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but I'm not the type to go start up a fight or just be a high head. You know I me? Mean? I'm definitely chill back. Yeah, yeah. I only fought two times, and the two times I've street fought, I've broken jaws. So you know I, I mean? heard, I heard about. I was, that, I was going it. Uh, that was my next question. I heard the my name question. definitely still ring bells from breaking niggas' jaws. <laughs> That, that's that's how I first went, like when I heard about Monzo, that was the first thing I heard about. Like, oh yeah, this they they was like, yo, this kid broke someone's jaw, but like he wasn't even that trying. Was great. Like they like, they someone they came he came at you, and the next thing you know, I just heard, yeah, the cuz just broke his jaw, on some. Getting niggas mouth mouth wire shut, and doing too much talking, right? Y'all better watch out, yo. Y'all don't want to fuck with the wrong people. If you... I ain't even fighting no more, man. There ain't nobody touching me. I'm going to have my brothers come get you. <laughs> yo, so, so basically, like, you having the, uh, you got your uh, brother saying, like, the light, handle the light work for real, basically. Yeah, man. You feel me? I'm, I'm, the, I'm the jackpot, man. So y'all got to do like, everything at all costs to protect me. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Um, I know... You um, you've been saying Showtime. Any um others like big time major companies look, wanting you to get in the ring? Like I said, I ain't gonna drop too many, right. too much names right now. I just want y'all to see for yourself, man. Yeah. You just know it's going up, and I'm definitely gonna be on that stage level this year, coming soon. All right, can you tell us this? Who's the next fight with? The next fight, who I'm fighting next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I, feel, I, feel, uh, I don't even remember his name. I just know he uh, he was in the army, and he got about thirty army fights. Mm -hmm. so I know the army niggas train hard. They do all they push ups, sit ups, and they discipline. So I'm just looking, looking for him to come strong, you know. And I'm coming strong, and yeah, I already know what I can do, and I'm bring to the table. So plans to get him up out of there in highly fashion. Styling, flashy, confident. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He must be irrelevant because you don't even remember his name. So you already know. I'm not gonna... worried about none of that, to be yeah. honest. I leave that up to my manager and my team to find my opponents. Have you ever had a loss in, in your record? And not as a pro, but in the amateur, yeah. I, have, I had a few losses in the amateur. Definitely mm -hmm. all learning lessons. We all lose in the amateurs, you know. That's for sure. But in the pro, you want to know, going for two and all, right? Yeah, I'm going for two and all. By the end of the year, I'll be looking at like eight, nine and all, close to ten and all. ten and all. I'll be very active. Fight back in February. I'll be back in March again, March 27th. Mm -hmm. I'll be back many, many more times. I'll be very active this year. You know what I'm saying? So you looking to uh, have ten fights this year? Yeah, I'm looking to have ten fights by the end of the year. And then I know. Fast. I know it takes a lot of preparation for one fight. How are you going to try and get that done? Because, you know, like, it usually takes about how long for, like, to prepare for one fight? For one fight? Probably, like, two, three oh. months? Yeah, people people take, get ready, like, two months. But the plan with me is I, I just stay ready so I don't have to get ready, you feel me? So mm -hmm. if you call my phone, I'm already ready to whip your ass the next day. Then now I got an extra three weeks to train for it. So mm -hmm. I just stay in shape. That's why I stay in the gym. I don't take no days off, you feel me? No. Nope. No, no, you feel me? I'm just always in the gym, so I stay ready just so I don't have to get ready. That's all that is. I know you travel to different boxing gyms. What are some of the cool, uh, the more, uh, the cooler ones that you've been to, or like the ones that have uh, some legacy? I know you can travel. Mm -hmm. You've been, you've been to Philly, been to the Bronx, been all over. Yeah, I've been to the Bronx, Philly, and we still going many places. You know, Philly bring a lot of smoke. New Jersey, I've been traveling up there, scan some smoke. I recently just went to Philly to spar the next uh, champ, Jerron Ennis. You know, that was great work. 
He's a 147 pounder, 26 and no, uh, 24 knockouts. You know, and I got to share the ring with him. So that's good on my resume right now. Mm -hmm. And I'll definitely be going back up there to get some more work in with him. And what weight class are you on right now? At 154 pounds. That's super well to weight. Okay. And then what, are you trying to move up, move down, are you, or stay? Uh, I'm going to stay right there for a uh, – maybe might go down to 147. But mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to take over the 154 weight class. And – Anything else you do that you want to tell your fans out here that they don't know about you and what's to uh, come for? Man, I'm a humble beast, man. I don't do too much talking, man. I let my hands do the talking. Just tune in to me every time, man. Support me. I fight for y'all. Yes, sir. You know it's open ears, man. We're going we to wrap this interview. It was a good interview, good, good 10, what, 15-minute interview. Whatever it was. Cool. You always no, we're gonna do one again a year from now. I always tell the people I interview we gotta lock in a year from now to see where the progression. Oh, I yeah, feel like gonna be the orange coat time. Big progression a year from now. I Shit, know six months from now. Shit. Well, I'm moving. I know we I we, I know we're doing this virtual thing because you know COVID's been taking a toll on things and everything. I I wanted to get one in person, so next time we definitely gotta get one in person. Hopefully, I have my own yeah. podcast studio. And where I'm just gonna bring you in, bro. Thanks, thanks, okay, my guy. You might have you might have your own boxing gym by then, and you feel me? I might just yeah. pull up, and you feel me? We knock it yeah. out. There. Definitely, ready to start my own YouTube page for for sure too. So I'll drop uh you know my YouTube so a lot of motherfuckers can subscribe. I got documentaries on the way, mm -hmm. you know, inside scoops, behind the scenes, all of that. You feel me? One last close question: Who would you have as an artist opening up for you? For for you know, for some big time fights in the future, big time fights, man. Cause you know how like Lil Baby opened up for Javante down in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I saw that you were out there too. Like, how was that experience? But that was a great experience down in Atlanta, man. It was the most mm -hmm. celebrities I ever seen in one building, man. It was mm -hmm. great, you know, being back behind stage, seeing seeing what this super sound, being a superstar really is like firsthand, you know. Yeah, yeah. It made me just motivated me so much more because that's what I want. You feel me? Yeah. Man, I have any superstar who hot at the time. Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, man. Shit, I'm a lawyer. I like working with motherfuckers from Laura, so whoever popping in Laura, I'm going to put on. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So you guys know it's Open Ears, the hottest upcoming podcast out here. You feel me? I don't do just rappers, man. I'm trying. I'm tuning into all entertainment, sports, rap, music. You feel me? Cooking. Mm -hmm. Shit, we can do it all. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, yeah. Who your favorite fighter of all time? Me. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's actually a good question. Who's your favorite fighter? Uh, me. It's like not Floyd, man. Floyd did it the best. I fuck with Floyd. Uh, little Tommy Hearns. Uh, yeah, Sugar Ray Leonard. I like all them. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is a great fighter. Not my favorite though. That's a good question. That was a good question. Who's your favorite fighter? Um, favorite favorite clothing brand? Because I know you come with a lot of drip. Your favorite clothing brand? Yeah. Oh, man. That's hard. I like Kenzo. Gucci. I'm walking in this new stuff. It's called PRP. Mm -hmm. It's a guy from uh, Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, he got some nice drip, so you got to check his shit out. He got some hoodies. I think he originally make jeans. Mm -hmm. but he got some hoodies and stuff now that I've been rocking. So shout out to that PRP clothing brand. And I know being a boss and everything, you guys have to have your like own meal plan, diet plan. Um, uh, do you cook your own meals, like make your own meals for that? Gee, got the bitches for that. <laughs> 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 It's crazy. Yeah, I do all the hard work. I better come home with some good cooking. You know what I mean? Facts. Nah, I don't do the cooking. So you're a ladies man, basically. For sure. Yeah. How many? Oh, no. Nah, I'm not going to be federal or anything. Nah, I was gonna don't be federal on this joint. Yeah, yeah, I ain't going to put you out there. We're going we gonna to keep it at that. Yeah. That you're just a ladies man. Because yeah. I was about to ask the question. You feel me? And Been a ladies man since a <laughs> young boy. It's crazy because cause I'll, I'll probably go, I'll probably be snitching on myself if I was going to go to that question. So we're going we to 
we we going to end the lady. fucking live. I'm going to leave you out this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Niggas start getting federal on this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, yeah, man, listen, listen, man. But, like, with the ladies, man, have you... you go. What 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 have you what have you seen in the ladies nowadays? Cause I I'm not gonna lie, they, they've been going downhill a little bit. You feel me? Downhill, man. I don't be fucking with the ladies like that for real, man. Mm -hmm. I like bitches. I I got to do a resume check on your ass, girl. <laughs> nowadays, shit. If I don't know your ass from back in the day, and I don't really fuck with you like that, I ain't even gonna fuck with you. All right. All these new bitches trying to slide in the DM because they see a nigga going up and all that. They don't get no reply. I don't want none of these bitches. I swear. What is the ideal girl for you? That's, yeah. Like, what, what? Oh, I like a smart girl. You feel me? Yeah. Smart. Smart girl, you know. Homebody, you know. Low key, low profile, independent, got her own, all that. Yeah. She got to be a smarty fan for sure. Yeah. A yeah. nerd. Yeah, yeah. You hear that, ladies? That, that, that's what that's what we like in women, man, because, you know, a what lot we of like and cook, cook yeah. meals. But a lot mm -hmm. of these females just don't want to do that nowadays, man. That's why I'm on, listen, I'm on standby. I'm, for I'm, the streets. <laughs> I'm on standby. I've been on standby for a minute, bro, because, you there's, know. There's homebodies. There's homebodies. Trust me. They'll send it. They, they just nowadays diamond in the dirt. You gotta find them. They hard to find. And when you do find them, make sure you keep them, guys, man. Facts. Don't make sure you keep them, bro. Don't fuck that up. Yeah, don't. It ain't even gonna be worth it. Don't. Yeah, at the end of the day. But I appreciate you, Monzo, for coming on the show, man. This was a great interview, man. One I'm love. You feel back in. We going. We going. We going to touch bases a year from now and see where niggas is at. Man, you already know. I'm you know. Up from now. Yes, yeah, sir. You know it's the hottest po upcoming podcast in the DMV. Open ears, you feel me? Got our open ears. Both up next. And you got the we got the hottest upcoming boxer from the from the DMV straight from Laurel as well. You know. Yes, sir. All right, bro. Steve, I'm gonna let you go because you probably gotta you know, go back in the gym or do something. You feel me? But I'm definitely I'm gotta get the workout in later today. Yes, sir. After, after all that partying yesterday, shit. <laughs> you see them? You see them? I see, I listen, I, listen. I, I seen it all. I, I seen a lot of fat ass. You feel me? On, on, on the ground. Whole lot of ones, man. Them bitches made a killing last night off my ass. How much? How much you lose last night? I threw like two bands, two bands and some change. Oh lord, not the two bands. I'm just, I'm just playing, man. But yeah. You gotta live, man. You only live, live once. once. You only live crazy, once. Crazy, because I, I don't do the strippers thing. like that, though. You see me? I I celebrate my birthday every every few years. I do something big, you know. This yeah. is one of them years, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was all right. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go out with the banger, man. Yo, dead boy, dead boy, yeah. What's good, yeah? What's good, fans? What's up, man? Anything yeah. else you want to tell you? Before we wrap it up, I got nothing else to tell you. I'm going to knock some shit the fuck out February 20th. Yes, sir. That means, guys, stay tuned and just keep watching the growth, man, because you know he's coming. He's coming with straight heat. And we out, yeah. We out, baby. So, let's go some live. Stay safe. Yeah. All right.